<sighs> hey guys, New Jersey Piper Ben here. Hope you're all doing well. Having some four noggins bald headed teacher in my Lenatra billiard. Needed a nice big bowl for this evening. Uh, the Four Noggins bald headed teacher was uh, gifted to me by Chelsea Dues of Pipes. Thank you so much, Chelsea. And congrats on your latest announcements with your new job and your fiance moving in. That's awesome. Good to hear. And here comes the ice cream truck. So I'm going to pause for a second so you guys don't have to listen to the music. But who doesn't love La Cucaracha? <laughs> that ice cream truck was the rattiest looking van I've seen in a long time. <laughs> Sounds like it's getting about four miles to the gallon, maybe. <laughs> anyway, uh, as you can see, I'm back home. Uh, it is currently Saturday evening, about a little after seven. Uh, power was restored Friday evening, early Friday evening. We were, we'd already paid for the hotel, so we just stayed one more night and, uh, Got up at 6 a.m., took the dog out, packed the room up, drove to the house. Unloaded the car. Uh, what, else, what did I do after that? Went to the grocery store, went to Aldi to, to kind of restock up on everything we threw away. So I spent 140 bucks at Aldi. Uh, and as you, if you know, if you know anything about Aldi, if you go to Aldi, 140 bucks at Aldi is like 200 bucks anywhere else. So a lot of groceries just for my wife and I, you know, nothing crazy, but enough to get us started and through the week, so to speak. Uh, so grocery store, back home, laundry, uh, cut the grass, took a shower. So I'm uh, pretty spent. I've had a day. I've had quite a day. <laughs> That's why I wanted a big bowl of tobacco. <laughs> it's a nice day though. It got about 84 today and it's probably about maybe 80 right now at the most. Maybe 78, something like that. So it's nice and not hot. I caught myself, I was about to say it was cool. It is not cool, but it, it's, it's at least kind of comfortable to sit on the front porch and have a pipe. The bald headed teacher's good stuff. It's, uh, it's Virginia, Burley and Latakia. So like a Weber lat, a Bur, a Bur, Virginia Kia. I don't know, but <laughs> it's a pretty, it's a, it's a very balanced, smooth blend. Uh, I like the, uh, sort of a little bit of added smokiness from the Latakia. The Virginias are just bright enough to give you a little bit of sweetness, which is a nice sort of counterbalance to the smokiness of the Latakia and the, uh, the, you know, nutty body sort of thereness of the burley I think burley is kind of an unexciting tobacco for the most part um, but I think it's good in some in some blends just to give you a little bit of that balance and a little bit of that body where you have the where you have a nice a nice non 
threatening non objectionable flavor component that is that can complement other things well i don't know if you know I've, I've been trying to get back into burley's a little bit more recently i've got some stuff i need to try but you know i got some some mac bear and hh uh burley burley flake burley something burley burley flake i think i got some been dipping into old dark fired again which has been fantastic uh got some other uh what am i trying to remember i don't know anyway i'm giving burley another chance i kind of went you know went head first into virginia's and english's and trying to step back and get a little bit of burley action going on because it's um i think it has it definitely has its place i'm not no i don't think i'm ever going to be a guy that smokes you know primarily uh burly heavy blends like your haunted bookshops and your old joe crances and things like that i don't think that's gonna be my bread and butter so to speak but i uh i see it as a as a valuable component in some blends depending on what else is in them basically Run my mouth too long, gotta relight. That's okay. Yeah, it's good to be back home. Cats are definitely happy. Dog is happy. Our dog is a, uh, street rescue we got at the uh, st louis aspca so she was like a st louis street dog when we were living in missouri so she's got that sort of skittish anxiety nervous nature about her where she has no interest in doing anything um extracurricular she doesn't like walks she doesn't like car rides. She doesn't like going anywhere in general. Um, you know, she gets very nervous. So when we take her on trips and stuff, it takes her, even if we go to like my parents' house, which at this point she's almost kind of familiar with. She, she knows them, she remembers them, but even then it takes her a good 48, 48 hours or more just to kind of settle down and actually start eating food and, you know, relaxing a little bit so to speak so yeah she's had she's, she's had a very harrowing experience living in a hotel the last few days the townsfolk are still mad as hell and they're like you know screw this electric company let's get somebody else in here like yelling at the mayor and <laughs> it's not his fault but everybody's frustrated and they're just they don't know what to they don't know how to take out their frustrations i mean i get it but and they're, that's totally warranted i mean jesus if 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 the town right beside you like literally there's another town probably a half a mile from where I'm sitting right now and that town's got electricity everything's fine and over here it's like freaking dark ages yeah it's it's warranted to to, to to demand some answers and some sort of infrastructure improvements I think Ugh, pipe went out again it's like I forgot how to smoke oh well All right, I'm gonna get it under 10. Under 10 minutes, hooray. All right, you guys take care. Be excellent to each other.